Hello again everybody and welcome back and in this next video series I'm going to try something a little bit different than what I've done before. Um, often if you're building up to a substantial size program or any problem in engineering um, you're going to sort of break the problem down into uh, discrete parts and solve those parts individually and then sort of put them together integrate everything at the end and uh, that was how I went about doing this uh, car counting program which is going to be the uh, finale for this video series so I thought maybe for something different it would be interesting to do a format for the series where um, I'll do sort of each of the individual pieces parts I did as videos and then put them all together at, at, at the end. So um, the first video we're going to take a look at today, this will be a real quick warm-up for us here. This will be playing a video file in OpenCV. And in the installation video, which I'm going to mention in a moment, uh, we took a look there in how to work with uh, still images and webcam feeds in OpenCV, but I didn't cover how to use a video file. So uh, we'll do that first as the first video in this series. Uh, then we're going to take a look at uh, image subtraction, and then we're going to take a look at a quick uh, prediction algorithm, pretty basic prediction algorithm, and we're going to use that to produce... Um, uh, to predict rather mouse movements just because that's um, mechanics wise a pretty e easy example to work out and then we're going to essentially put these three first three videos together into a multiple object tracking by image subtraction program and then in the fifth video the finale video we're going to project from video four a little more specifically to the task of car counting and we're going to see that's going to come out pretty well for us uh, i'm planning on doing um, i'm going to do this video series each of these in c plus plus and then i'm planning on uh, going through and doing a parallel series with Visual Basic versions as well. So uh, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to cover today is the prerequisites, and actually there's just one. So if you go to uh, my YouTube channel, so if we go to YouTube, and then um, each uh, video in this series, of course, being five parts, each video is going to be a prerequisite for the videos after it. But there's only one prerequisite for this first video, and that's the installation video. So if we go to 18F4550 videos, and then we go here, and then we go to Hello again, everybody. Uh, videos, and then we go to this video here, OpenCV3 Windows 10 Installation Tutorial Part 1 in C++. And uh, there's also an associated GitHub um, repository for this video. So definitely check out this GitHub repository uh, and this video here if you have not already. But um, for now, let's dive back in today's project, which is going to be playing a video file in OpenCV. So uh, to get started today, we'll go to uh, the GitHub repository for today's project, and I'll link this in the description below, but in case uh, you're curious how else to get to it, you can simply type GITHUB, microcontrollers, and more, and take out the space, or spaces, I should say, and then we're going to go here, and then we're going to go to repositories, and then... And we're going to go to this repository here, OpenCV Play Video File CPP. And then we're going to, well, let's first take a look at the contents here. This is pretty straightforward. Presentation is, um, <clears throat> this is just the slide, the intro slide that we took a look at earlier. That's not very important. And the README is pretty straightforward here. I'm going to update this when the video is done, but it's basically just going to say refer to the video. So um, we have two other files in here. We have this uh, 768 by 576.avi and this is not my original content at all. This is the um, example video that ships with OpenCV. So for example if we go to OpenCV 3.1.0, OpenCV sources, samples, and let's see data. And this video here 768 by 576 AVI. That's the same video. I've simply just reproduced it here on the GitHub site uh, for your convenience. You can download it from there if you like, or you can get it from the OpenCV directory, either one. Uh, so the only remaining file then to take a look at is main. So let's go ahead and fire up Visual Studio. <clears throat> and then we're going to go to main here, and then we're going to choose raw. And I'll just be copying and pasting out of this once Visual Studio starts up. So this is going to be a really quick um, Example, one other thing I should mention is that I'm going to be working from the uh, cheat sheet today that was in the installation uh, tutorial GitHub repository that I brought up earlier. So um, that's what I'm going to be copying and pasting out of from my other screen as I'm working through the project today. So if we go to File, New, and then Project, and again, I'm simply going to be copying and pasting out of the code that I just showed a moment ago. So let's go ahead and call this play video file so you can name the project anything you like really it doesn't matter and empty project make sure you have C++ chosen choose your preferred location uncheck those and once that opens up then we'll go ahead and copy and paste in the references uh, so again see the um, installation tutorial on 
these steps to set up the references if uh, you're at all unclear on this part. So we're going to go to uh, x64 and then project and then visual C++ directories, include directories and edit. And then we're going to paste in our include path. And then we're going to paste in our library path as well. So library directories, edit and take out the quotes there that I accidentally copied and pasted from the cheat sheet and then we're going to copy in our library here so linker input additional dependencies and edit and then we're going to paste that in and then OK apply and OK and now we're ready to add main so we simply right click over here go to add uh, new item and then we're going to add main.cpp and then we can copy and paste in the code and we'll take a look at the code once we get the program running um, and there's only one thing left to do I believe and that is to go to the directory for the project we just created which is going to be documents visual studio 2015 projects and this is the, rec the directory we just made here play video file cpp so we need to copy in that avi that I mentioned earlier so I just downloaded here to save some time so we'll go ahead and copy that in there and there it is in the project directory now so if we go ahead and run the program we should see the video playing and there we are and this is a super basic video player uh, so the way we set this up if you click on the screen with the video playing and press escape the video will end immediately uh, or if you wait until the end of the video it's going to say end of video over here in the command line um, so let's just take a look at the code here to wrap this video up so this is pretty straightforward uh, here we declare a um, video capture object and then a mat for the frame that we're going to use we open the video and we do some pretty straightforward error checking here and then we jump into our while loop and as long as the video is still opened and the user has not pressed escape we uh, show the updated frame and then we simply do this sort of bookkeeping here to compare for the next iteration and that's pretty much it so this is pretty straightforward uh, this has been sort of a real quick and easy warm-up video and uh, let's um, launch right into the remaining four videos in the series so I'll see everybody in the next part